Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Around the 27 yard line. From their own 27 yard line. Second down. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. He's tackled at about the 39 yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. rid of this one. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. From the 47-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down at the 30. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. play of the series. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 17. Gets out to about the eight. That's good for that brings up second. And Here's nine. play number ten on the drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They look tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Touchdown. to put six on the board. When you give this kid a chance, he can get it done. That was a nice looking run. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11 play, 75 yard drive. And they put up seven points. So the score now, seven nothing. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. 
Williams' mental toughness makes him difficult to rattle when he's on the road. And here he is now, Kirk, taking the field for the first time today. Let's see how he does. And not only does this guy not get rattled, but he's also a guy that seems to have an uncanny ability to quiet a crowd by making such big plays. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's a game three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. He's taken down at the 40. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 36. Now he tries to buy some time. Ball is loose. Fumble. It's picked up by the offense. forced to punt it away here. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Gibson is waiting for the snap. He's tackled at the 28. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Slides down. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Gives it to the back. Brought down at the 35. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Tackle at the 35-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. He scrambled. And this play is number eight on the drive. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 31. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. 
Fires up to his receiver. And they push him out around the 18-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Such a talented, skillful back as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 72-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. That can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll make it third and one. Tackled around the 36 yard line. That's good for game two yards. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Got some open field. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Peterson gets six yards after taking it himself on the option. Second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's immediately tackled. That's good for game number two yards. First down. Zips it to the back. And down he goes, right around the 40. Number 45 brings him down to the 40-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Got an opening. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. This is the eighth play of this drive. Salazar picks up around five yards with that catch. That brings him second and ten. From the 20 yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 19. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. Third down. And this is the 10th play of the drive. He was tackled immediately. Loss of a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. One minute left in the first half.
The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. start. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still fourth, fourth down. down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Gets past the tackler. The Spartans are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He gets to about the 34-yard line, and he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. And he throws it away. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it, he's in space, and he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. He makes it to the 25-yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Spartans in front by 11. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You can, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, Get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to hit something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 28. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it third and three. the 
yard line. From their own 40 yard line, it's first down. The Spartans wide receiver went out with that injury. He was a key part of their offense, and uh, they're going to have to try to find a way to replace him. It's not going to be easy. Slides down to the ground. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. And here's another third down. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 42. He's on the run, and they get the sack. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Level at the 36 yard line. Jackson picks him up around seven yards with that catch. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. And he makes it out to about the 34 yard line. And they'll still be a little short of the first down line. Well, they get some positive yards, but this defensive line really busted through and broke that play up. hit before he can go anywhere. From the 28-yard line, first down. Gets to about the 27-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Pushed out of bounds at the 17-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 17. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. This is the 14th play of the drive. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they're in. Touchdown. So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. And he adds the extra point. It was a 14-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 14-10. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field.
Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll bring him down at the 40. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They got four yards on that one. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. been a defensive masterpiece through three. We'll draw up points in the final quarter. 14-10, Spartan. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. Logan, back to return it. From the 15, he makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game. And every possession is going to count from here on out. He's to the 40. And they make the stop around the 50-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. Taken down at the 48. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. Hey, check my Ready, Just throws this one away. Third and long. This defense digs in here, and it could be their ball game. They'll make the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Gibson is waiting for the snap. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. to his receiver. Tackle around the 42-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 42. Brought down at 
after a nice run up the middle. They come out in a five wide set. down and they need to get it inside the 48. Less than three minutes in the game. time out of the half. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Wildcats coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for him. Well, the offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. And he's tackled at the 31. Yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Passes to the wide out and he can't pull it in. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. So they're going to go for it here. A little over a minute in the game. Now he's scrambling. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. The Wildcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Just a tremendous job by that defense. And their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. So it's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Let's go. 
kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. That brings up second and nine. The spike will stop the clock. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Slings it. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. For all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. Aaron and out long. And he got it. That tackle just sealed the deal. A great game here today in a tight one. 17-10, Spartan. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.